This question taken from our textbook, solving using uh, Kirchhoff's law. A generator has an EMF of 110 volts and an internal resistance of 0.5 ohms. It is used to charge two batteries that are connected in parallel. The first battery has an EMF of 85 volts and an internal resistance of 0.25 ohms. The second battery has an EMF of 80 volts and an internal resistance of 0.3 ohms. So essentially, if you look at our diagram, we need to solve for I1, I2, and for I3. We'll first take a look at our first loop, which is loop A, B, E, F, A. Right, we always look at our loop in a clockwise direction. So you'll see our first battery is in a clockwise direction. However, our second battery is anti-clockwise. I1 times R1 will be positive and I2 times R2 will be positive. So let's write that here. Our first battery is uh, positive. Our second battery is negative. Then we have plus I1 R1 plus I2 R2. Our first battery is 110 volts minus our second battery of 85 volts. Um, that will give us 25 volts over there. Our internal resistance for I1 is uh, 0.5 I1, and our second resistance is uh, 0.25 I2. And if we want, we can call this equation one. All right, our next loop, let me use a different color. Okay, for our next loop, it's gonna be loop B, C, D, E, B. Once again, we look at a clockwise direction. So therefore, E2 will be positive, and E3 will be negative. Then you'll notice that I2 for our second loop is anti-clockwise, and I3 is clockwise. So if we rewrite this, we have E2 minus E3, and that is equal to minus I2 R2 plus I1 minus I2 times R3. Right, so 85 volts minus 80 volts will give us 5 volts. Um, we have uh, negative 0, 0,25 times I2. And then our third resistor is 0, 0,3. So it's going to be plus 0, 0,3 I1. And then if you multiply that out, it becomes minus 0, 0,3 I2. Right, so you must look for this, the common factors. Um, you'll see I2 is a negative and I3 is a negative. So our equation is going to be plus 0,3 I1 minus 0,55 I2. And this becomes equation 2. Right, to simplify, we're going to say equation 1 minus equation two and we will solve mathematically now i want to use i want to cancel i1 over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say 0, 0,3 divided by 0, 0,5 equals 0, 0,6 so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply equation one by 0, 0,6 in order to simplify so 25 times uh, 0, 0,6 will give us a 15. 0, 0,5 times 0, 0,6 will give us 0, 0,3 I1. And then we have plus 0, 0,15 I2. Right, if we substitute equation 2, it is 5 is equal to 0, 0,3 I1 um, minus 0, 0,5 5, 5, I, 2. So as you can see, we can cancel out 0, 0,3 I1. 15 minus 5 is equal to 10, and we end up with uh, 0, 0,7 I, 2. All right, so doing a little bit of mathematics over there, you'll see that I, 2 is equal to 14,285 amps. So that's the current passing through the second battery. Right, now in the next step, we are going to substitute, all right, we're going to substitute 
I2 into equation number 1. Okay, so let's write down equation 1. Equation 1, let me make a note there, it's equation 1. 25 is equal to 0.5 I1 plus 0.25 I2. So we must substitute I2. 0.5 I1 plus 0.25. Now if we substitute I2, which is 14.25. Uh, Alright, if you do a little bit of mathematics, uh, a little bit of multiplication, a little bit of division, and uh, you simplify using your calculator, we find that I1 is equal to 42.85 eight amps okay now that we've got i1 and i2 we can solve for i3 um, and to solve for i3 you will notice that it is equal to i1 minus i2 so all we do is we substitute i1 is uh, 42 8 minus I2 which is 14 comma 2 8 5 so therefore the third battery in other words the current through the third battery is going to be 28 comma 5 7 3 amps okay guys thanks for watching this video